Flame pushing a little bit further, but Windrunner even himself. Oh, actually, oh, top, bottom lane. Fear is actually already taken a fall here. Enigma is there as well, waiting for the time to actually strike on the bottom lane. They've got one down. They should be able to push it through now. There's enough of a creep wave. Bottom comes through. Arrow on the back of PGG. Starfall as well. Pushing back. Enigma! Guess who? He has almost walked straight back into it as well. Baby Knight will go down. The leap goes out. He does actually get brought down. It was a long, long way for the, for the attack there from SF to actually follow through. Winner trying to focus fire right now. ES ulti will be enough to actually finally bring down the Shadow Fiend. The magic missile goes off, tries, tries to actually slow down that ES, while the rest of the team is actually fought, taking a fall as well. ES finally goes down. It's all about Temker at the moment. He's just doing the damage from the side. And, um, well, push goes through. Shackle goes off. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. Um, he will, uh, Windrunner will actually stay in the mix here, but the bottom racks will take a fall. Clarity Potion is actually popping off as well by the looks of it. Either that or just standard regen coming off with the mech charges also hanging around. Shackle goes off, managed to actually catch uh, two of them in play. Um, or at least VS, the only one that really got stunned from that one. As Enigma wants to actually rotate himself down, but the bottom rack is now completely gone here for Lost EU. And the retry will TP themselves out and wait to fight another day. Uh, the retry is doing it exactly right. Um, they are pressuring and um, trying to end the game as fast as possible when they take any advantage. And um, they currently are doing it in the right way. They've still got bottom racks, even though um, pot and bought back. Um, and claim many, many uh, lives of the uh, Scourge heroes. And um, currently, uh, the retry, they, they do look in a very, very strong positioning. Um, no, but nothing currently can kill the Razors um, fast enough. And you can't stop Enigma's black hole reliably. They took out fear very, very fast. So yeah. um, Dwarf and Sniper wasn't around to cancel his ulti. Yeah, that, that, that was actually like... They, even, even if the ulti doesn't grab the entire team, grabbing one hero and bringing them down literally makes the battle impossible for Lost EU to win. Like, it's just that you can't... They can't win a, a 4v5 at the moment against them. It, it just doesn't work that way. And this is what they need to do. Gank these heroes off. And this is what's waiting for them to do. VS is actually... Oh, I thought Sweet might actually get out of here for a second. The Gemitru site is still actually laying on the ground here. Guys, guys. Yeah, there you go. Pong, Baby Knight comes back and actually destroys it there. Um, but to actually move yourselves out and play on the terms they need to do. Control the map more. Gank the heroes down. Don't wait for the team fights. If you wait for the team fights, you're going to get yourself screwed over. 27 to 22 is nothing. The map position is what's going to win this game, I think. Uh, and this is also why I was very, very surprised that he um, destroyed the game. Because um, honestly, um, oh. <coughs> currently they're in a good position. Oh, just, just saw Baby Knight. He is literally playing with this SF around his own neutrals. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it, just straight on the arrow. So you know what, if this hits, you're screwed. Um, but if it doesn't, then you still feel intimidation. I'm still very surprised they destroyed that gem. Because they could could have used it themselves. I don't know if any of the uh, square side heroes currently have a gem. I don't think so. Uh, I haven't seen one, but we can bring up the window very, very quickly. And not a single stitch. No, not a bit. Also, to see the farm going up here. Fev is still actually moving it forward at 205. Four kills, 10 assists actually up for him as well. Um, with 21 neutral kills, 174 for the SF. 134 for both Dwarven Sniper as well as Windrunner. Um, and 124 coming out for Baby. Um, that is the bottom. Uh, so they are completing items up. Looks like uh, we do have Roshan back up in the mix. Either that or the retry are all premature. No, nope, Roshan's actually back up now. The entire team rotating in here. This is a time here for Lost EU to get back on top, but they're still trying to get control of their lanes back again. And this is why the retry waited for this time to actually do it. And, uh, well, there goes Roshan. Shadow Fiend picks up the Agassi Mortal 2. Windrunner is actually pushing this top tower right now. Might even do a fair amount of damage. In fact, actually focus firing the tower down. Not the best thing to actually do because the glimpse could just pop off and the tower actually just starts attacking you when you do that as well. Might better bring it down, but even then, there's actually not that massive amount of damage coming out from that. Um, Windrunner is really not the uh, the power in the waters that she normally is. Not a farmed up Windrunner at least, but the tower will actually take a fall. Uh, so Santa does actually claim one thing here, uh, but needs to get herself back towards her base very, very fast. There's a TP scroll. I hardly suggest she uses it because now on the front door, the retry, they're knocking on through. Manta pops off here for, for uh, our Razor. And uh, wow, gonna do even more damage. VS with a perfect initiation. One down, 
two down, rotate down, Enigma Black Hole, wipe out the Creep Wave, and um, it will be enough for them to actually push down now. Razor, he's just going and attacking the Boneyard. In fact, he's doing a bit of a, uh, it's like one of those totem poles, little, um, not totem poles, one of those Mayflower pole things around the uh, graveyard with his ultimate. Now he's going to go for the uh, Potom, as Potom says, you know what, hell no. Gets out of that one. Glimp does pop off for a second. It's not going to slow him down enough. Mid racks is down. Mech pops off. Still two heroes on the sideline at the moment. And uh, the retry just rotate themselves up here. And uh, the retry just still just smiling off here. Baby Knight just puts out a hmm. All right. Are we actually going to do this one? As Enigma blinking himself back out of the middle lane. As a whoo. Actually, PGG in a little bit of trouble right now. He did get focused by, but oldies himself off there. The Aegis Immortal does pop. And uh, Potom will retreat himself back out now. 29 to 22. The Dwarven Sniper and Potom doing whatever they possibly can from range. But the tier 3 tower is the next target. Well, actually, maybe not. Windrunner might be the next target. Santa goes down. The ES comes in. Blinks in. Ulti goes off. Where's uh, Razor getting caught out here at the moment? Even the Wish Doctor Ulti does manage to get the kill on PGG. Lena actually follows him very, very closely. Wish Doctor will also take it. No, VS. VS. One more hit. ES goes over the top. And even then, this is almost a full team down. As uh, Enigma goes down the top lane too. And um, our last hero to actually take a fall will be Razor. Fev or Willy? Willy, he's still doing damage. ES will take a fall. Fev gets one. Fev gets triple. He doesn't even need an... Oh, he could get quad. He could take He could take it all. Could he take it all? He does. No, he doesn't. Oh, 210. 210 HP is all the Dwarven Sniper had left. And Fev denied his solo genocide. Um, but they will actually get the tier 4 tower down here. Fear saying for America. Uh, that will bring down the tier 4 tower. And um, <laughs> then go on to the frozen throne. There's nothing he can even do bar just pull the Crete wave. But the next one will just come through and take care of it. Oh, it's, it's such a GG. Such a GG. But this lost to you oh, to the last. <laughs> um, the retry, they, they did the right thing. Um, Razor managed to farm up so that Sniper wasn't a big threat to him. And um, even though the black holes were not uh, very, very well placed, to be honest, but um, it is still enough to win the game. Uh, they ended this. Um, they, they ended the game when their heroes were at their peak. And so, there, there's um, actually the GG call. Late. The leave actually comes before the GG call actually goes. Um, but well done, 33 to 27, and your pick league winners for this evening. The Russians will be drinking the vodka and the cat and eating the caviar. It will be a party galore. <laughs> Uh, for the retry boys taking it over Lost EU once again proving that the Russians are better than all at least that's what I've been told um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty well founded um, yeah and uh, just before we start the stream a few shout outs there to make um, big shout out to uh, Spilo um, shout out to Crooked and um, yeah and shout out to uh, Zade as well thank you yeah, thank you very much for everyone who has been listening in. It's been great to have your company here. Of course, if you did miss this and you've only just tuned in now and said, what the hell just happened? You can check them out. I will be encoding these videos and uploading them over today. And they'll be available on the Cyber Gamer Network. It is a YouTube channel. And please, please support it. The more, the more subscriptions we actually have, the sooner we can actually give you full-length VODs. It means I don't have to chop them up and put them into a massive uh, freaking playlist kind of style. So uh, check them all out. All the Dota shoutcasts I do get uploaded there too. Any shoutcast I actually do gets uploaded there. Even on this Sunday, it's coming Sunday at GMT plus 10, 2 p.m. time. We have a Call of Duty shoutcast, uh, Black Ops for even. It's actually the first competition here in Australia uh, for the Black Ops competition coming out. Fear is still killing people in the game. <laughs> Stop it, dude. That's just stupid. Um, but yes, basically, check out, check all, all that out. Of course, if you are on the onestop.net site, that's where I advertise most of my shoutcasts for the moment. And uh, of course, thank you very much to Ghost of Gamers for actually uh, putting it out. And of course, the big, big shout out goes out to the boys at Dota League embedding the stream. Big shout out there to Nice Try too, who was actually doing the German shoutcast. Great to have all you shoutcasters out there in, in the other languages. I wish I could understand Russian. That way I can actually understand what everyone was talking about with Vyats. Um, but can't do it. But anyway. Thank you very much for tuning in. This very, very weary shoutcaster is going to go to bed. And I look forward to your company next time when I've had more sleep. And hopefully you guys will have an awesome match for you. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Catch you around. <laughs>